Even if he just like sets a monster, I'm just gonna make Telemi and bounce it. Lava Golem. Bro. What's up guys, it's your boy Kazaris, back with another fun little deck profile, and we today we have the new Sylvan support, with some Rikas splashed in as well, basically it's just like plant good stuff. Um, this deck is extremely hard to play, it's a ton of level manipulation, a ton of play ordering. I mean, unless I practice for like several days with it, I'm not going to be able to play it perfectly, and even then, um, I might still make some misplays. So we're just going to jump right in with it. Uh, just a few things to note, the new Sage Koya is really cool. Just another big body that we can use to excavate cards. Um, if it's excavated to the graveyard, we can add a Sylvan spell or trap from grave to hand. We don't play any. Basically, it's just a big body that we can use to make Aurea, this Sylvan High Arbiter. This card is fantastic. It's two level seven monsters. Once per turn, we can send a plant type monster from a hand or face up from our field to the grave. Look at a number of cards from the top of our deck equal to the level of that sent monster. Uh, and then place them on the top of the deck in any order. And then once per turn, we can detach an Ixie's material. Choose a number from 1 to 3, then excavate that many cards on the top of the deck. Send any excavated plant type monsters to your graveyard. And if you do, return up to that many cards on the field to the hand. Does not target. Um, so it gets to stack the top of our deck for us. Uh, trigger as many Sylvan effects as we want from 1 to 3. And then bounce that many cards non-targeting on the field. Absolutely crazy. Um, if we send Hermitry to the grave, we can stack. We can look at the top eight cards of our deck. Absolutely nuts. And we're just playing a bunch of uh, rank sixes. We have Tolemi, fantastic one. Uh, Fairy Knight Ingunar, it's a plant. Three level six monsters. It can detach two materials to bounce all other cards on the field of the hand, and your opponent cannot respond to it, so that's a really cool card. We have the standard Exca Beetle, Rhinocibus combo, and then we also have Kanzashi the Ricka Queen. Um, if a monster is tributed, you can detach a material from this card and then target a monster in either graveyard, special summon it to your field, negate its effects, and it becomes a plant monster. And then if a plant monster we control would be destroyed by a card effect, we can tribute a plant monster from hand or field instead. Really good protection uh, and can steal things out of the opponent's grave, which is cool. And then Princess Sprite is great. It can excavate a card from the top of our deck. If it's a spell card, we can add it to hand. If not, we can just like trigger it or just get a Rose Lover engrave or something. Uh, and then its other effect is we can send an, one other plant type monster from our hand or face up field to the grave to special summon a Sylvan from the grave. Um, so they can get things like Hermitry or Sage Koya out of the grave very easily and just give like easy lethal pushes if we mill like Marshal Leaf, Marshal Leaf and stuff. Still cute as ever. Um, new Silver and Princess Sprout. This can uh, declare a level from 1 to 8. Um, and then Special Summon itself as that level. So if we go like Sage Koya, Mill, Princess Sprout, we can just make an Aurea very easily that way. Um, or we can act, we can Normal Summon, or we can not Normal Summon it, but if it's on the field, we can tribute it to excavate the top card of the deck, send it, and then we can stack Cherub Sprout, which is really cool. And then if Cherub Sprout is excavated, uh, you can special summon a level 1 plant type monster from the deck, which can be something like Sylvan Peacekeeper. And then Sylvan, Pe Sylvan Peacekeeper can special summon back the Cherub Sprout to trigger Cherub Sprout to excavate one or two cards. And then we can overlay Peacekeeper and Cherub Sprout for uh, uh, Princess Sprite. And then go, it's the, the plays are insane with the deck. And with the Rose Lover especially and the Rika stuff, we can make uh, sixes and eights very easily. Um, actually, do we have an eight in here? I don't think we have an eight, but it doesn't really matter because Snowdrop will target one other plant, target a plant monster on the field and another plant monster, and then um, you choose the let one of the levels between what you targeted and it becomes that. So if you target, if you have another level one, you can make herself level one to match, or if you have another, have another level six or seven, you can make herself six or seven to match. So she, even though she's level eight, she'll become whatever you need. So that's why she was like she's really good. Rick of Glamour can search one or two. Uh, it'll add a Rika monster, and then it can add an, a plant monster as well if you tribute it a monster when you activate it. So you can add, like, Snowdrop and then a monster of the same level, so you can add Hermitry, which is really cool. And then Snowdrop can special summon herself and then Hermitry, which is really nice. So uh, a lot of cool plays there, and then this is just a Call of the Haunted. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump right in. Remember to grab your coffees, and remember to like, comment, subscribe, and stick around. All right, we're up an Odeon. Odeon. We're going first. Let's see what I can do with going first. 
I can Peacekeeper effect and to mood on add tranquility or just add hmm. might just add tranquility for a decent turn excuse me a decent turn one play ooh that's actually really good that was a fantastic mill because when a plant distributed I can special summon Erica from the graveyard okay yeah I'm just gonna get tranquility and just chill on this uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to Telemiad back. Because this gives me more stuff for next turn. And it allows me to put Mood on into the grave. And now I can actually trigger Tranquility. So, like, this is a decent turn one play. Like, if he doesn't have the Telemi, then I have that to use again. Uh, and then this is just a Reborn as well for the Mood on that's in my graveyard. So, if I made Kanzashi, both materials would be stuck under it. And then I wouldn't be able to Reborn anything with this. Uh, he's just going to pass there. Okay. Um, Sage Koya. I can go Telemi again to bounce back Mudan. And then get Erica into the grave. I think I'm going to do that to make another rank 6. Ooh, into Fairy Knight Ingunar. That's cool. Add this back. Now I can reborn this. Yeah. No, that doesn't quite work the way I want it to. I can Marshall Leaf. And Marshall Leaf, I could also just slow play it. Marshall Leaf threatens lethal. Um, or I could go Mudan. Tribute Marshall Leaf. Bring back Erica. Make Ingunar special. Yeah, screw it. We're here to make some some plays. I'm, I'm not going to slow roll it. Here we go. Here we go. Marshall Leaf effect. Call in two. If I mill Rose Lover, that's also just a really good mill. Two cards. Two cards. There's Guardioke and Glamour. Guardioke. Uh, no, I'm not going to use the effect. Uh, but a Sylvan went to the grave so I can do Sage Koya, but that kind of locks me, so I'm going to hold that. It locks my field. So I'm going to tribute the Marshall Leaf. God, this is so much thinking involved. It's crazy. Uh, I'm gonna chain link one, chain link two. Gives me Ingunar, which bounces all other cards. Period. I'm gonna add Rika Glamour. Um, I'm going to. Oh wait, Ingunar needs three. Oof. Uh, I can still just make an ex exit beetle though. Like this, uh, rank six is still just a fine play. I'm gonna make a uh, Rhinocibus detach two materials, gets them all in the grave again to make another rank six on the next turn. Uh, this also does Rika Tranquility is a possibility as well. I'm gonna Rika Grant Rika Glamour add Primula so it gets all the options. Or I could grab another Mudon. Actually, I'm gonna grab another Mudon, and then on the next turn, Mudon can grab Rika Glamour again. Yeah, this is fine. I'm, I could, I should have tied the binds, I guess. Just in case one of these doesn't connect. But I assume he has something. It's a 30 card deck. He's just gonna try and stall me. Drowning. Chain reaction. Um, okay, that's fine. Puts my Telemi back to use again. I can't use Rhinocibus again because it. I don't have the Exabutal to use. But uh, it gives me Telemi back. Clears my field so I can go for Ingunar on the next turn. So that's cool. So I can like reborn one Mudan and then Peacekeeper summon the other Mudan, summon back Erica. Yeah. So I'm going to go Peacekeeper effect. So let this happen. Milling Sage Koya. Not going to activate Sage Koya. Going to uh, Mudan tribute to special. Search Glamour. And then Erica Effect. And then I'm going to do this as well. No, I'm not going to tribute a monster. I just want to get three at level sixes onto the field. Specialing this one. Special Erica. Add Glamour. Glamour can now get Primula if I so choose. But I'm just going to try and go for a Fairy Knight in Gunnar. 
and uh, bounce all these bullies. Bounce the whole field, he cannot respond. I would assume he has something here though. Like, I highly doubt he doesn't have anything. Nope, okay, well, that's good. Detach these two, they all go to the hand. I can snow drop to special and then tie the binds. Yeah, cool. And attack, and attack. Activate skill, just go for game. Cool. Very nice. Oof. The last card in his hand was a hand trap, dude. Are you serious? Oh my god. What a goober. Alright, well, I mean, this is still fine. Because I can just make Aurea on the next turn. I can go Snowdrop, Target, Sage Koya. Or attempt to Sage Koya first. There's Arika Glamour. Sage Koya effect. Sends Peacekeeper, Peacekeeper effect. Specials Martial Leaf. Try and use Martial Leaf. Martial Leaf effect. Oh, wait, that's the only one is normal summoned. Uh, okay. Um. Oh, wait, why did I do that? I meant to click this one. Uh, activate. Target everything seven. The mo you know. All right. Well, there's Aurea. Okay. Is he gonna respond to Aurea? He didn't respond to Fairy Knight Inginar, so I'd imagine he can't respond to Aurea. Cyber Shadow Gardener chain reaction. Okay. Activate Aurea. Send one from hand. Uh, put this. This this and then activate effect I'm gonna run out of time oh my god dude I can't believe it I can't believe I ran out of time <laughs> no I had game oh I had game <laughs> that's my first time limit loss in years years Oh my god, this deck is so hard. Anyway, I had game. Unless like, he drew another hand trap, which is extremely unlikely in a trap deck. Um, yeah, Marshall Leaf pops Cyber Shadow attack for game. So, Oh well, that's a win, but I... <sighs> this deck is hard. <laughs> Let's do another. Alright, we're to my Valentine. So disheartening. We gotta play a bit faster. This shit is so hard, dude. My lord. Aroma strategy. Okay. So, I can... Sand's actually garbage. Uh, set pass. If it lives, I can guard Yoke, but that's about it. Ah, the mirror match. Aroma strategy, milling, rose lover. <clears throat> I'm not, like, a huge fan of these decks where you can see the top card, because, like, I'm doing it anyway, whether or not I know what it is. Sure. What? Triple Rose Lover on the top? Dog, what? My lord. Oh my god. I just lose, right? He's just gonna OTK me. Well, guys, I'm not playing it, but this is what the Sylvan deck does. There you go. Getting a nice showcase either way. So this is a nice loss to include. Sometimes you brick, like my hand, or sometimes you just mill triple Rose Lover, like his hand. Jesus Christ. And I guess he's playing 20 cards, but like... I just copied uh, Luke's Tyler, Luke Tyler's list, by the way. I have no idea how to build this thing. Um, and I didn't feel like it hurt my brain. I got other stuff to do today. so <laughs> Just wanted to build a list real quick. Princess Sprite effect. Send. Summon back Sage Koya. Sage Koya effect. Hermit Tree. Hermit Tree effect. Stack the bottom? No. Look at the top three. Okay. Stack the top. Okay. I'm not dead. I need to draw. What do I need to draw? I don't, I don't even know. Uh, okay. Give me literally anything but that. Oh, well, I lose. 
Well, that's what the Sylvan deck does, guys. Let's do another. Alright, we're going to step my Valentine again. We're going second. Harpy's Hunting Ground, okay. Hand is playable this time. We can go Marshall Leaf Effects. He's so cute. He's got little flowers. Oh, I was trying, but okay. Well, that's easier. Is it? I don't know if it's easier. Oof. Okay, I'm gonna go Marshall Leaf Effect. Mill two, obviously. Always just mill two, no reason not to. Sage Koya, Peacekeeper, Peacekeeper Effect. Target itself. Peacekeeper Effect. Mmm, Rose Lover, okay. So I could special Snowdrop, special Cherub, and then Cherub effect. And then hold the Snowdrop copy effect. Special Cherub, special Snowdrop. Cherub effect, mill two. Again. And then I could Sylvan Princess. Oh, Floodgate. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, pass. Activating King Golem. Don't see her. Dancer, shuffle back. Cruiser. Get a big attack boost. He still can't clear my snowdrop, so that's cool. Hopefully he tries to clear snowdrop, because he doesn't realize what the defense is, but he can just easily check. Um, probably just going to clear both my level 1s. Which is honestly fine, because I can bring back Mudan. Oh, okay, never mind. He's just done. Now I can overlay for six. I can attribute a plant. I can add a six, and then add a six. Yeah, I can add a six, and then add a six. Yeah, and then I can go... Tranquility. Uh, or I can just Rose Lover. Yeah, I can just Rose, Rose Lover Special Guard Yoke. That is fine. Uh, he can go into King Gollum, into Cruiser. Or into Cruiser, into King Gollum to add Sphinx. Which is kind of annoying. So I want to get to um, Ingunar to avoid that. Ingunar bounce the field. Yeah, that should do it. Uh, three cards. Hermitry. Glamour's not going to work. Rose Lover will work. Hermitry. Stack the top three. Okay. I'm going to stack... Um, so 1,000... 1,224. That's game. Cool. Um, yeah, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. Doesn't matter, because now I'm just going to go... Rika Tranquility. No, do not tribute a monster. Special Mudon. Or whatever. Yeah, Mudon's in my grave. Activate Snowdrop. Target at level 6. Ingunar. Uh, bounce the field to avoid the Sphinx. And then summon Cherub Sprout. Special Mudon in attack. And then tie that bind to make 3600. Cool. Took a little bit of thinking there, but... We got it. Like he can he can shock on all his effects now and add Sphinx, but I'm just gonna bounce everything so it doesn't matter. It don't matter. And bounce them all. We normal summon. Activate effect. Tribute special summon. Activate effect. Add Rika Glamour. And activate Tyler Vines. We thirty six for game. Cool. Took a bit of thinking there, but we got there in the end. Very nice. Inkyunar actually really good. Bounce the whole field, just kill him. Easy. All right, we're going to say Yami Yugi. We are going second. Hand is okay. I mean, it depends what Marshall Leaf hits, really. Uh, if Marshall Leaf, actually, if Marshall Leaf hits something, I can trigger Sage Koya. <laughs> then summon Sage Koya, which is a good beater. 
Um, okay, well, Marsh Life Effect, call two. Peacekeeper one, target itself. No effect on Sage Koya. Uh, hmm, okay. I guess I could have just not used Peacekeeper and just special Sage Koya and Hermitry. That would have been fine. There's Sprout, draw one. And he's scooping it up there. Alright, that was a quick win. Let's do one more. Alright, we're up against a Yami Merik. We're on second. Hand, hand sucks, actually. Yeah, we need to draw a normal summon. Like, any like shitty normal summon will do. That will not do. Okay. Potion seller. I need one of your finest potions, please. Another back row off the top. Not even attacking. Doro. All right, there's a shitty normal summon. That's fine. Skull invitation. Ah. I think we're just going to straight up fucking lose to this. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm being dead serious. We're taking 600 every time a Sylvan hits the graveyard. So I'm just going to summon two beaters and start swinging. Here we go. Starting swinging. Ooh, nice. Drowning. Uh -huh. Whatever. At least it's even. Coffin Cellar Skull Invitation. Garbage. I swear to God, if he drew one more drowning. And burn himself faster than he burns me, though. Ooh, there's Princess Sprout off the top. Summon Mudan. Take another 600 just for this. That's fine. Why is Invitation doing damage before the chain resolves and Coffin Cellar is dealing damage after the chain resolves? That's weird. Anyway, uh, attack. Got something for me. Nice. We in there. Fuck burn. Hashtag fuck burn. Hashtag anti burn gang in the, in the comments. I hate burn. 200 mm. Doro Um we Might as well try for game right See like Skull Invitation deals damage Immediately Coffin Cellar does it on a new chain link Haha -ha. Bare minimum Rainbow life, you goober. Heh, <laughs> well. Oh, wow. That's weird. So he took 300 before Rainbow Life resolved, and then when Rainbow Life resolved, he gained 300 from Skull Life. Or from Skull Invitation. That's annoying. Okay, well, I take 400 here. We can't die to Shadow Game at least, so that's good. Uh, summon Rose Lover. Attack with Rose Lover. This is the least damage. Rainbow Life again, as suspected. Okay. And I win, question mark. He's going to take 600, so I'll be down to 32. This is 3,700 on board. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I did draw. Oh, wait, is it maximum 400? Oh, right. I forgot. Doesn't matter. Still game. Really? Hand trap off the top. Watch it be kite rude. Take it. Okay. Well. I win. Winner! You cannot defeat me. Even if he just like sets a monster, I'm just going to make Telemi and bounce it. Lava Golem. Bro. <laughs> I 
I... Fucking top decking his way out of this shit, dude. What the... Oh my god, this video has been a disaster. I I don't even want to play anymore. I I don't even want to play anymore. All right, this, I'm just gonna end it there. That what a what an awful way to end it. But I just I I'm so defeated. I've just been playing this deck wrong so many games in a row, and uh, just losing like that. A little disheartening. But overall, the deck is fun. It's extremely difficult to play correctly. Especially with every different scenario that you have to just play it differently every single game you're up against something. It's just very, it can be a very, it seems to be a very good deck. Like, I like this build a lot. I don't know if it's the correct build, but it seems to be a very good one. I like all the Xyz plays you can do. Um, but, I mean, overall, try it for yourself if you can afford it. Um, I mean, I don't know about a free-to-play option, but a lot of just rare cards in the main deck. And then three Mudan and one Princess Sprout and then... Seems to be a pretty cheap deck, honestly. Um, so, give it a shot. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Enjoy your coffee. Enjoy the rest of your day. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Catch you all in the next video. Peace.